Hey rock stars, Lid Shaw, and I'm here at Winter Nam 2018 in Anaheim, California. I'm standing here with my good new friend Casper from Logic Keyboard. How you doing, Casper? I'm very good. I'm enjoying the show. It's Thank very nice, and you guys have a very cool thing going here. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. All right, so I'll explain. I was walking along, and all of a sudden I saw all these colorful things over here, and I was like, what is that? And I came over, and I kind of knew what it was pretty quickly, but it gets me excited because these guys are making custom keyboards for anything you're using pretty much I'm gonna say that pretty much yeah that's right yeah we get it for all the big doors if you're a recording studio rock star and you're on my channel you're probably using Pro Tools I know that um, but you may also be using something like Logic or uh, Studio One or F uh, Fruity Loops or many of you are Cubase or Ableton yeah. Pretty much. We have Ableton, Studio One, Digital Performer, Pro Tools, Finale. Okay, cool. So yeah. essentially, let's explain to the rock stars what, what we're talking about. So why they're like, I've already got a keyboard. Why do I need a keyboard? So what is special about your keyboards? So let's take one out here, for example, the, um, the Pro Tools version. So when you edit, you have a lot of shortcuts in the system a lot of default shortcuts. So basically what we did is we took a normal keyboard, which was backlit, so not that normal, but still very normal. And then we printed all the default shortcuts on top of the keys. So instead of using your mouse all the time in order to do a shortcut in the system, you just press a key or you press a option key and then a one more key, and then you will activate the shortcut. So essentially you will be able to work up to 50% faster in your workflow and you will, if you're in the zone, in the creativity zone, you don't have to go out of that zone to find the right shortcut with your mouse. You just work faster and you will get better things done. That's so, so, so true, Rockstars, and I agree with you 100%, Casper. One of the first things that helped me really, really speed up my workflow in the studio and make records as fast as I wanted to was learning what some of the key commands are in Pro Tools so that I can just look at the screen, I can think or have my eyes closed and listen to the music and just make moves as I, as I see them wanting to happen. Learning the key commands is the way to go, but sometimes it's hard. I mean, like I've been using Pro Tools for 25 years and I still can't remember all the key commands unless I'm using them all the time. So to have a keyboard like this, where you can look down and actually see what they are. I think it's like, it's gonna help you learn where these specialty keys are that you didn't know about. And I, I think there should be like a really cool quiz that you guys do for people where you right. blank out the keys and you make people fill in like a, like a test in school, you know, where you have to fill, idea, fill in the names of the states, you know? <laughs> and even though we also did uh, the color codings, so each color group represents a category in the different DOS. So essentially when you look at the keyboard with your eyes, when you get used to working with it, you really don't have to think about uh, entering the shortcuts because you can see the different color codings. So it's, you just know that this group represents controls, for example, or other categories. And it's, it's really just helping you to work so much faster. Let's just take a look at some of the other keyboards you got. And we have the Ableton keyboard. And instead of doing, as you saw on the Pro Tools keyboard, where we only have a solid color, here we split the colors so we can fit more shortcuts into each key. We will have up to four shortcuts per key. And the system is really easy when you get to know it. We see here the small dots, they represent the different uh, option keys. So if you wanted to do fade, you'd have to press Alt, Command, and then F. So it's, it's, once you get to know it, it's really, really easy. And it's easy for the eyes to see where the shortcuts are. Same thing did we with the uh, FL Studio keyboard. Um, so basically the same concept and idea, just for a different door. Then we have the, uh, the Logic one, which is very popular. We have the Persona Studio one, Cubase, Premiere Pro run right here, which uh, is the one I use at home. And they feel really good. They're like well-built keyboards. It feels solid. Yeah, we added some extra weight to the keyboard, so you don't have that feeling that this is just a cheap keyboard that's sliding around on your desktop. And so, what happens uh, if if you get a keyboard like this and you're using it a lot, and then certain ones start to wear down? Do you guys have a way to deal with that in the future? When we get the keyboards, they are completely blank. Okay. And then we print the design down on them, and after that, we put this special coating on 
which essentially makes it very very difficult for them to wear off oh cool cool yeah. that's a great a great idea awesome well thank you so much casper for showing us this let the rock stars know how they can find you guys and learn more about about your company you can find us at uh, logickeyboard.com where we have uh, all the different uh, DAW systems uh, for the keyboards. We also have video editing and graphical editing. Um, and you can also find us on Facebook, of course, at Logic Keyboard, Twitter, Instagram, same thing, just Logic Keyboard. Okay, and awesome. And then um, are people able to actually find this locally in any of their music stores? They can find them at uh, the big resellers such as uh, b and Guitar Center, Musicians, Friend, Pitbull Audio, all the major ones here in the States. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on Recording Studio Rockstars with us, Casper. Thanks for having me. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet um, you Rockstars, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and drop a comment in below and let us know what DAW are you editing in or what film software are you editing in. What are you using and what kind of keyboard would you like in your studio? Thanks for watching. Cheers.